Well, good morning, and welcome back to Nacho Stuff. We're uh, kicking off with a little box of goodies, I think. What's this camera? I don't know what you are. Maybe you are, uh, maybe it's a security system, maybe. I don't know. It's a monitor and a, uh, what is this thing? Looks like a DVD player, but I don't know. We'll have to look at that closer before we toss it. We have some, a couple of junks from yesterday. We did find that fan motor that we didn't uh, turn in. And that TV didn't have any boards in it. So I couldn't even test it. Should have gone yesterday. Anywho's, let's get after it. See what kind of junks we can put in the trailer today. Looky, looky, Americanos. We're going to start off with our fan early. This one's got a nice metal base to it as well. And if you didn't know, we're fans of fans here at Nacho Stuff. So please take a moment and mash that like button. Because that's what we do when we find a fan. Hashtag fan of a fan. Also, wanted to let you know, it is brisk out today. I got pants on again. It was in the 40s when we started. We just got, we just got up in the low 50s. Um, also wanted to let you know that rocket that I was talking about, finally finally went off last night so I did tape it I'll pop that in right here I was considering making it a, a, another video but it's only gonna it's only like a minute or two long it was a pretty nice launch I was figuring the cold weather might affect us some but uh, it didn't it went off and this is the Falcon Heavy which is the bigger of the Falcon rockets that Sp SpaceX sends up with their Starlink satellites so uh, enjoy I'll take a little extrusion. Oh, hopefully you're not steel. Oh no. Looking a little steely. Feeling a little steely. Yeah. Extruded steel. <laughs> we'll still take you. This does, oh. Ah. This does not look promising, but this is the pile we found all those clothes last week. A bunch of broken glass is what we got. 
kind of invited me in. I think this is the end of the binge. This is uh, a couple of pair of uh, shoes and some garbage. No, there's some wire. We got in here anything? Cleaning supplies, tags, and we'll see any clothes or anything else yummy. Seriously, guys. We have a bunch of one pair, one pair of a pair of shoes, except for those ones that are it's a LeBron. LeBron James shoes. Nasty. No luck this week, guys. I only stopped because these kind of look like rotor boxes. I think they might have been. <laughs> but no rotors. Uh, were they rotor boxes? Let's see if I was right or not. Yeah, they were rotors. But they were rotors for a Whirlpool laundry machine. What? <laughs> That's weird. Let's go. Wow, we've struggled today, guys. So we're almost done. We found ourselves at a nice big old fat fridge. And we got a call from that gentleman that helped us a couple weeks ago that's an HOA guy. And he said he found a stove for us. A stove and I think a Microwave. So we're gonna go over there and he's not in this traditional hunting grounds. We're gonna go see if they're still over there. Looks like they tried to fix this one. Look at that, it's got a built-in dolly. Man, what a load today. Or lack of it, I should say. <coughs> Excuse me. We're gonna go home and fill up for sure. Unless for some reason we come across some amazing stuff. Hopefully that snow's still over there. Whoa! That was copper. That's copper. That's our, what are they called? Solenoids. Everybody scoot up. Everybody scoot up. You guys all come over here. We're gonna try to get this fridge out towards the front. You can go right there. We got a wash machine at the house we can bring in. We might even do some non ferris today, maybe. Hey, I've been driving around and thinking about things. Just because your mind wanders like that. What's uh, you guys' favorite fried chicken place? I'm going by, going by chains. And I, the reason why I say chains is you might have Mama Lou's chicken. But I don't have Mama Lou's chicken, so we can't count them. It has to be, who do you think has the best fried chicken. I saw it on the Today Show a couple months ago. And I don't know if I agree with them or not. We'll do chicken sandwiches later. We're going to do fried chicken today though. Because Chick-fil-A does not count. Oosh. So, I think our options are KFC, of course, probably the original, and it can be anything. It can be, for some reason, if there's a place like TGI Fridays, what's that? Oh, they're working? Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, broke. This one also working. Works, okay. But 
That board's bad? No, no. The ball, the ball, okay. Do you have the, the one called reset? Uh huh. Okay. So you can go home and then try it. Okay. Leave it, leave it. Like that, and then hook up in, then plug it, plug it, plug in the, 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 the wire, and then hit reset. And uh -huh. see, see if it works. See if it goes, okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll, do, I'll certainly take that. That'd be great. What's that? I can take that, sure. I'll pull up in just a second. I want to move this up a little bit and try to maximize my space. <laughs> yeah, if you if they go if they if you push front to back the the wheels work, but side to side not so much. And and if you go from here, uh huh. Chain from 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 my from my yeah, from my from my tenant house. Uh -huh. I have a, a house that is for rent. Okay. I, I have two two more dryer. Last night, last night, uh, barely around like like nine ten ten p.m. Okay. I will I will put out last night. Oh, you put it out last night? Yeah. Okay. Two, yeah, two, two dryer. Okay, I'll run over there and maybe they'll still be there. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Uh-huh, and a refrigerator. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'll definitely check. I'll pull right up for you. All right, guys, I'm going to grab the stew over here. All right, guys, I got today's title. Best worst day ever. <laughs> so we found absolutely nothing. That gentleman, he said he owns a boatload of houses, and anytime a tenant leaves, he generally replaces everything. So I gave him my card and hopefully we hear from him again in the future. He uh, gave us a fridge, the stove, and then we're gonna go run over to the address that he's got and see, he, I think he said he had two, maybe a washer and a dryer, I'm not quite sure. Slight language barrier, but um, he said two washers, but I don't think that's right. I think it's probably a washer and a dryer. He put it out last night, might be gone, but then we gotta go check out the stove on, on our other lead. And then we'll do our last neighborhood and we'll head to the yard. Bring you in for the big reveal. This is clearly their traditional garage day, which means their large day is tomorrow. I gotta come up here, it should be right. Here. Ah, womp, 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 womp. We'll drive around here and see if there's anything, any other goodies before we get out of here. Dang nabbit, our washer, dryer, whatever it was, got stolen by somebody else. 12 hours, that's a long time to be on the street and not be picked up. All right, let's go. Well, our lead came, uh, gate came to us less than an hour ago and the stove's gone. So there's the microwave. But we were headed home. This is uh, Monday's route. And I saw this as I was driving by. So I spun back around. I didn't know there was two of them here. I thought there was only one. We're gonna take a pair of, pair of, pair of tubs. I guess they're across there now. Nope. Fit in there like that. 
I'll take a pair of stoves though, or stoves, <laughs> a pair of tubs. I would have had a pair of stoves. But they got sucked up by somebody else. Less than an hour. And it's not even, that particular neighborhood is, uh, this Friday's. So, even though it's not the day, it doesn't take long. Come on. The scratch. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, by the way, too, we were talking about fried chicken before we started gabbing with that guy. So, Leave me a comment. Who's got the best fried chicken? KFC? Popeyes? I think they had Jelly Bee? Maryland's Chicken? And if there's any other big box, box type places. It can't be, like I said, I don't want Mama Joe's. Because I can't go to Mama Joe's. Let's see who has the best chicken. Best fried chicken. Put it in the comments. I'll tell you my vote tomorrow. Onward. All right, guys. I know, what are we doing at the yard? Well, I was uh, headed back. I was gonna pick up some stuff from the house, but we got quite a bit of stuff in here. So I figured we have a little bit of time before lunch. We can get the steel off of here and then we can decide what we wanna bring back. If we wanna bring back some more steel, we can. If we wanna bring back Mountain Ferris, we can gives us better options and we really don't have that much in here i can't believe we struck out at both the both the referrals one guy's like yeah i put it out there last night yeah it's gone bro and then the other one it was less than an hour that's crazy we still got quite a bit of water here fill them tubs up took the plug off this one for himself. Well, I guess we'll take this a little bit. Why not, right? We might bring some wire in, I think. There's that motor we forgot to turn in yesterday. <clears throat> they must have a lot of cars coming in here. They got a bunch of tires and they're still making cubes. And I haven't seen very much stuff coming in here. They have to have the cars all stockpiled up someplace. Maybe we'll hack the handles off here today. Uh, you're not. Nope. Just the handles. I don't know. We'll see. stuff we can toss later I just wanted to get the big the big stuff out of here we have our options open I didn't check these I found these early this morning off camera so they took my camera off then put them back on all oh, you guys are steel are you kidding me some of it is this isn't steel though huh 
We're gonna mess with this one. Let's check these guys. I think this is gonna be brass. I'm hoping it's gonna be brass. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm going to uh, hit the refrigerator and then uh, I'll see you over at Jeffy's after lunch. Alrighty guys, a little bit of bonus footage. I guess it's not bonus footage because it's going to be in the video. But I swung by the P.O. box on the way home just to just kill a little time, trying to get the afternoon figured out. And we got a package and a couple of letters. This letter comes from Patricia Morton. I did open these already, so it makes things sped up and now I can't get the card out. All right, Faith, Family, and Friends. Thanks for the great videos. Your kindness is such a pleasure, and I love how you take care of God's little creatures. That, for me, says a lot about you, in, as you're a good person. You are, um, you are generally you, love your banter and your silliness. You sure aren't afraid to be yourself. You and your family are in my prayers daily. My wishes for you and yours in happiness and all your love. Hearts can hold. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's. And then the card says, this one says, Faith, family, and friends, the greatest treasures are held within our hearts and homes. Have a blessed Christmas. And again, this is from Patricia Morton from Virginia. I've gotten a, 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 some other things from Patricia in the past. Thank you for the Christmas card. I, You know me, I, I always love some mail. And then the next one comes from Jackie Kiesling in Iowa. And this says, may all your Christmas dreams come true with gifts of love and happiness too. Happy holidays, wishing you and yours a wonderful holiday season. Jackie, I think it's Kiesling. Tell me if I'm wrong. Praise me if I'm right. <laughs> and she put two pennies on here. Um, I can only assume, because I can't see, I don't have my glasses on, that I can tell by the look of them they should be copper. And so I'm gonna guess they're 1981s. And if you guys didn't know, I'm going for the world record for the most coins of a single year. And I picked 1981 just because there was over a billion pennies minted that year. So I should be able to come up with, I think it's 55,000 and change of them. There's certainly tons out there. It can be any other coin though, I think too. I, I haven't really uh, technically looked things now. They said it, it stated uh, the uh, coins from a single year, but it doesn't say they have to be all the same coin, I don't think. Although the last guy that had the record had all the same type of coin. I'm collecting any 81s that I personally find, and we'll find out I really do pennies mostly, because it's the cheapest way to get there. It's gonna cost like $500 to get a world record. How awesome is that? So if you want to send me some pennies, my P.O. box is in the description. And then last but not least is this big old package. And this comes from, believe it or not, Janet Jackson. I'm guessing it might not be the Janet Jackson I had in mind. This is Janet Jackson from Indiana. I don't know. Something tells me Janet Jackson doesn't live in Indiana. But this Janet Jackson does. Thank you, Janet Jackson. <laughs> Let's see what we have here. Okay, we got some wrapping paper. We'll get to the cars and then we'll get to all the goodies. It looks like there's a bunch in here. Some Santa stickers holding us closed. And a card. Oh, it's a pop-up card. How fun. Let it snow. No, it's not going to snow here in Florida, I promise you. Thanks for all your hard work. Merry Christmas, Janet. That's a fun card though. I wonder if it's made by that company that was on Shark Tank. I think there's words on the front too. <laughs> uh, may the Christmas be the time of laughter and real enjoyment for you. Of course, we always laugh. Okay, let's see what kind of goodies she got in here. All right, Janet, what we got? We got some more gloves. Woohoo! I've been washing these. This is uh, the pack that I have on my wish list. And these are uh, great gloves. They hold up, they're thin, they're 
uh, and they actually hold up really well. And I wash them tons of times before they totally fall apart, but I was in desperate need of those. Thank you so much. Now I can actually wear gloves on a regular basis. We got some more clippers. Never have enough clippers. We have a, a red bungee, a black bungee. Oh, she got me some electrical tape that I can use to put my, um, what's that thing called? My noodle back down again. It was coming off. Oh, she sent me one of Kev's magnet things that I found and I gave back to Kev. I was looking at this. I, when I was doing that thing uh, for Teespring, I looked at these. I'm glad I didn't get it. Oh, yeah, and the funny thing is, I looked at this too. This is a little wristband you wear that's magnetic. So you can put nails and screws as you're working. Doop, 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 doop. You just put them on your wrist. I looked at that and I was gonna order it and then I was over the amount that I wanted to spend and so I took it off. Glad I took it off. This feels like another pair of clippers. Man, I'm gonna have all these clippers. This is gonna be amazing. No more excuses, Matt. You can't say you can't find your clippers. Oh yeah, these are spring activated ones too. We have some, uh, I think this is duct tape. It looks duct tape-ish, just a little bit smaller of a roll. Let's see. Yeah, so this is, looks like two different versions of duct tape, which is great for the truck to fix things when you need them to be fixed. Look at that. That looks custom made to me. Men in black. We'll have to put that on the trailer for sure. We have two more left. This one, I don't know, it's heavy. Just open it, Matt. Yes, up, oh, up, oh, more bungees. What, why are those bungees so heavy? Oh, because there's a whole bunch of them. Those are all the ends. Whole bunch of more bungees. And last but not least is two square, three square boxes, two square, three square boxes. And look at this. These are two different packages. I'm guessing one of these has magnets in it. At least one of them, maybe both of them. And the other one might have metal if it's not magnets. Let's put this back in here for you where they get lost in the vehicle. That could happen really easily, you know me. Let's see what we've got here. Uh, this is, and I actually, I, I think I ordered these same ones. I wanted some of these for the back, these little round ones. These are similar to the ones from the microwave that I need to really get out, but these are like about the size of a dime. Wow, those are strong little magnets. <laughs> Look at that whole stack of them. I think I ordered these same ones, but mine I think I have holes in them so you can screw them to something and then they'll hold tools. So they have, can be multi-purpose. Let's see what we got here. Let go, magnets, let go. Oh my gosh, those strong little magnets. Oh, there's more magnets in here. A whole nother stack. So there, this was a stack of like, watch this, ready? See a spark? <laughs> All right, so there's some magnets. Let's see if this is magnets or metal. It was being stuck to. This is, what does it say? Two piece. <gasps> two more magnets. Oh, these are bigger magnets. These are chunky little magnets. There's not two pieces in here, there's only one piece in here. Liars. Oh, <laughs> you see that? The box jumped up. These might all be magnets. They are. These are different sizes. These are. <gasps> These have the little stickies on the back side so you can stick them to something. Although, with my trailer being metal, these are bigger ones. And they have little pieces of plastic in between them. Perfect. Now I don't have to take apart my mag mag magnetrons. I can take my time. Look at that, ready? Good. <laughs> <Ready>? <laughs> I know, I'm such a kid. Let's put these in here. Okay. 
That's awesome. Thank you, Janet Jackson. Even though you aren't part of the Jackson 5, I still love you. And thank you, Patricia. And thank you, Jackie. I love myself some mail. I love myself some stuffs. Oh, those gloves will be great. You'll see me wearing those for sure. And whoever sent me the yellow gloves, they're in my garage someplace, I'm sure. I have definitely misplaced them. I love those things. Shoot me an email if you still have some. I'd love to get some more from you because I really like those yellow gloves and I really would like to put my fingers back on them. But anywho's, that's that. We're gonna go home, pick up some stuff. I don't know whether it's gonna be non-ferrous or steel or what it's gonna be. We're gonna get some stuff and we're gonna go back and see Jeffy turn in the little bits that we have left over from the street and turn in maybe a whole bunch more and see if we can have a great day. So uh, let's get after it, go have some lunch, get some stuffs and I'll see you guys after lunch. Let's do some NFJ. Maybe they got an ambulance over here. It's pretty sweet. It's pretty quiet in here this afternoon. Okay. Alan, I finally remembered. <laughs> I'll cut to Jeffy once he gets here. Ooh. Because our forklift's not here, so he's out back. You can't fit through here, can you? Let me scoot up a little bit. Let me scoot you a bit. Really? Yeah, I had one at Uh-huh. Wow. Those are from Allen. They're supposed to be power savers. You plug them in, the directions are in that little pamphlet. That goes as just regular, right? That goes extrusion? That would because of the lines. Okay, good. Forty-four. That bucket, I don't think, holds that much. It should be right around a hundred-ish and change. What a pro! You done that once or twice?
You ready on sealed? Take that all day long, man. Clean brass. What's dirty? Ain't nothing dirty in there. I cut the steel ring off of that. Yeah, you sometimes on the bottom that they have it too. Do you know why? Strength. Yeah, the whole shape. Yeah. Kevin's out there? Yeah, What trailer out. is he using? His normal one, I think. Oh, he got a fix already? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, no, his trailer's all messed up. Yeah, no, that's not extruded. Mm. These can just go in with that, right? Here or there? Getting rid of stuff, man. Just getting rid of stuff. Oh, he does have his trailer. What are you doing with the Yeah, it's going as heavy. You playing roulette or you get it fixed? I got the trailer fixed. <laughs> okay. I still have some sound, but I don't know what the hell it is. Ah, it's nothing. I just drive it. It's nothing. <laughs> light. It was light out in the street today. I found a refridge and a stove like the last neighborhood I went through and he's like oh I just put out a washer and dryer and something else and he gave me the address I went there nothing someone texted me and said here's a stove and here's a microwave drove out there nothing <laughs> it'll be there because they're closed up uh, if I believe so Dirty brass? Oh my god. <laughs> That's so bad. Here? Take off seven pounds for glass. Ah, uh, the glass doesn't weigh very much. It's light glass. I can't eight pounds of glass. I can't even owe us. Come on. Come on, man. Oh, these are New Year's. I gotta save this for next week. Why does it do that? What do you call a 
bacon wrapped dinosaur. Mm. Delicious. Jurassic pork. Jurassic pork. Oh, we'll stick on the dinosaur here. How did the dinosaur? How did the dinosaur celebrate Christmas? How did the dinosaur celebrate? With a comet. They decorated the Christmas T Rex. That was horrible. That was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call delivery birds that like rap music? Delivery birds that like rap music. Passenger rappers. Homie pigeons. Homie pigeons. What uh, what did uh, cumin and paprika write on their Christmas card? Yeah, Christmas time is here. Seasons greetings. Infinity War, a vegan movie. Infinity War, a vegan movie. Um, no idea. Everything was at stake. Everything was at stake. <laughs> How did the angel greet the shepherds? Said hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> That's like my Alrighty, guys, we're waiting paid. Best worst day ever. Man, it was it was dismal on the street today. We luckily found that fridge in the stove late. Um, and then we struck out twice. He sent us over uh, for some, I, he, I think he said washers and dryers. He had some stuff over there. He's like, I just put it out at 10 o'clock last night. I'm like, Ugh. stuff does not last long in Orlando, I'll tell you that. So we ran over there, struck out. We had another lead uh, about an hour earlier on a stove and a microwave, gone. <laughs> and neither of those neighborhoods were like traditionally uh, areas you would hunt or at least I wouldn't it's not a day that uh, people are gonna be putting stuff out it's you might find something people put stuff out any given day but um, weird anyhow we ran back to the house and picked up some non-ferrous and so that's where the best day comes from because we did pretty good on non-ferrous so let's dive into the receipt we do have a little bit of tin at the end because we just had some stuff uh, that was at the house that I just wanted to get rid of so we threw some some scraps in there not a much Anyways, uh, 10, 640 pounds. That was our run. <gasps> uh, did you put this? No, he's on there. Um, so that was the, the tin, and then we had really the sealed unit from the refrigerator, and that was about it. Is all, all the street yielded. and everything else was non ferrous that came from the house. So it was uh, 640 pounds, six cents a pound for 38.40. We'll, go, we'll jump to the sealed unit real quick because the sealed unit came out of the refrigerator. 25 pounds, 20 cents a pound for five bucks. And then the rest of the stuff is from the house. Uh, insulated co copper wire, which is basically cord. Everything here is insulated copper wire. 142 pounds. Jeff guessed 144. I didn't think that bucket could hold that much, but it's been sitting in the garage for a while, so it must have compressed nicely. $1.10 uh, a pound for 156.20. Yellow brass, we had 56 pounds. We haven't really turned in much yellow brass. Uh, we still have a ton of it at the house we gotta clean up, but I just wanted to kind of get my buckets empty so I could start sorting based upon what size bucket it actually needed. Um, because uh, there's some stuff that was not, in, in my eyes, in the right bucket. Like for example, that aluminum was in a small bucket. Aluminum should be in a bigger bucket. In news, uh, I digress. Uh, extrusion, four pounds. That was just uh, two of the poles that were in with uh, what I thought he was going to count as um, clean aluminum, but because they had a, it had a channel in it, he considered it extrusion. And I had two little pieces left over from yesterday, probably two pounds each. So four pounds, 67 cents a pound for 268. Clean aluminum was a bucket that I had again. It was in a small bucket, should be in a big bucket, so I'm going to swap it out. 42 pounds, 40 cents a pound for 1680. Irony Heavy was the V-Vacker, 14 pounds, 18 cents a pound for 252. Brass Unclean was <laughs> lights. They sat all the glass in it, uh, and uh, I got six pounds out of it. I'm happy with that. 70 cents a pound for 420, and then uh, again, we just dumped out. We was just basically garbage tin um, from stuff that we had uh, broken down. It wasn't anything, but we do have two handlers at the house that I wanted to bring in, but I knew there wasn't gonna be time for me to get them clean up enough to feel happy dumping them, so. They were still living at the house for now. 
but 10, uh, 80 pounds, uh, six cents a pound for 480. For a grand total today of 337. Even, we never are even, that's awesome. So, uh, best worst day ever. Uh, I really wish there was more on the street. Hopefully it's not gonna be like that for the rest of the week, it was just a fluky day. We'll find out. We all have to jump back out there and uh, see what tomorrow brings. Make sure to smash that thumbs up before you jump out of here if you have not already. It's not your stuff. That mean you can't take someone else's trash and turn it into cash. I'd like to put a special thanks again out there to Janet, Jackie, and Patricia. Thank you for the cards. Thank you for the gifts. It's greatly appreciated. I love to get mail. So uh, until tomorrow, everyone be safe, be happy, and I'll catch y'all then.